still haven't cleaned up my mess behind the chair. In fact, I think it's only gotten worse. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today is going to be another take video. I feel like I've done quite a few takes. I've really only done two recently, but um, I've been taking quite a bit of stuff. So this take is the called the Girl Problems Take. I was taking this by Brittany. I will have her channel linked down below. Um, she's really awesome. Like She makes extremely good quality videos, and she doesn't have that many subscribers. So definitely go check her out. Glacier is undecisive. Do you want to stay in here, Glacier, or do you want to do you want to go and eat dinner? <laughs> she doesn't know. Question number one, what's worse, chipped nail polish or no nail polish at all? Definitely chipped nail polish. I think chipped nail polish is definitely one of my biggest pet peeves, um, to, especially on me because I'm like such a perfectionist. I would way rather have my nails just not done than have chipped nail polish. I just find that chipped nail polish looks like you just don't care and I think that it just is a bad representation of yourself. Not that if you have chipped nail polish you're like the worst person in the world, but I just think that none at all looks way better than if it's all chipped and gross. Number two, name an instance in where you had to have it in every color. So many different things. To name a couple, L'Oreal Infallible Shadows, NYX Nude Matte Shadows, definitely Maybelline Color Tattoos. I have four stacks like this. It's it's really bad. The Balm In Stain Blushes. These are my favorite blushes, seriously, you guys, of all time. They are incredible. If you have not tried these yet, get yourself out from under that rock and give these a go. They are amazing. Right now, I'm kind of on this kick with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, which is not good because those are really expensive. And then whenever eyeshadow palettes come out and they are released like within kind of like a series of them, for example, the Naked Palettes or the Lorac Pro Palettes, I need to have every one. Except for Naked 3. I, I have no interest in that palette whatsoever, and I've explained this in a couple different videos. Number three, do you keep Christmas lights in your room year-round? Be honest. No. I do not. I... I've never been into that. I think it can look really cute in the background of some videos, but it is so not me, especially Christmas lights. I think that those cool little like tiki lights or the little like, you know, just the just the really dainty kind of lights that aren't Christmas lights. I think those are way more classy than like Christmas lights. Um, so no, that will that will never be me. Number four, what shade do you go for? Peachy pink or Barbie pink? Probably peachy pink. Um, really neither. I go for red, but if I had to pick peach peak. Number five, when packing for a weekend trip, how many in case I don't feel like wearing that outfits do you pack? Oh, uh, so many. <laughs> no, this is like a huge problem for me. If I am going somewhere for a night, I will seriously, well, maybe not a night. I guess it, if I'm going somewhere for a night, I can really plan out the outfit for the next day. If I'm going somewhere for more than three nights, I will definitely pack like six outfits. Um, a lot of it though is I try to be practical and I try to think of weather-wise because it's not so much what if I don't want to wear this. I mean, that's part of it too. But also, you know, I like to be really prepared if it's going to rain, if it's going to be really hot, whatever right. the case may be. Um, so yeah, I definitely pack quite a few, at least like two or three extra outfits. Number six, who is your man crush Monday that you keep a secret? Um, this is no secret, Seth Rogen. I mean, I love Seth Rogen. <laughs> no, really though, um, he's awesome. I love his personality, love his uh, acting, and I also really, really love Dave Franco. I also really like Zac Efron, so you can imagine when I was watching The Neighbors, it was seriously my dream come true. Like, I I couldn't handle myself for that two hours. Number seven, how many nail polishes do you own? I just recently went through and like purged all of my old nail polishes, so I actually do not currently have that many. Um, if I, well, I'm not going to show you the drawer, but I would guess... I probably have like 40, which is probably a lot for some people, but for like how many nail polishes some people have, you know, in the beauty community, I'm just like, oh my god, I don't understand how you could ever use that many nail polishes in your life. So not a lot compared to some, but definitely more than most, but yeah, around like 40, I would say maybe 50. Number eight, what is your favorite eyebrow? I feel so strongly about this. Left eyebrow all the way. Like, don't even get me started on this topic. My right eyebrow can go fuck itself. It never wants to do what I want to do with it. Uh, and that's so weird, because usually it's like the left side of my body that's like completely retarded. But like, this eyebrow is just 
Ah, I just want it to look like it's friend over here. It always, my left eyebrow, I just feel is so much more perfectly arched. I feel like I can just do it in like a matter of a minute and it looks great. While my right eyebrow, I have to spend like a good three minutes on this little fucker each morning because it never wants to do what I want it to do. Yeah, I, as you can tell, I have very strong opinions over my left and my right eyebrow. <laughs> All right guys, and that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this take video. I know it was kind of like a superficial, like really kind of, uh, doesn't really matter kind of take, but I thought it was funny and I thought that um, the questions were kind of fun to do. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.